this place was bush. No human being was here. Bush. Yeah. All bush here. The place was University of Juba only. That was the only place. This thing was all bush. Ah. Yeah. There, there, there was nothing. If there was no this 2013 conflicts, the, the city would have expanded a lot. It would have been a big, big thing. Sudán del Sur is the country most young del the world and also one of the ones that has more problems. Desde 2013 hay una guerra civil agravada por la hambruna que se cierne sobre algunas regiones. Son millones las personas que necesitan ayuda humanitaria y otras tantas se han convertido en desplazadas o refugiadas en los países vecinos. Sin embargo, la capital, Juba, en el sur del país, está creciendo y su población se ha duplicado en pocos años hasta superar el medio millón de habitantes. The men in foreign investors are basically Eritrea has taken the lion's share, and Ethiopia follow up, Somali the third, maybe Kenya and Uganda. Uganda deal with small, small construction, but Kenya does some hotel, but Eritrea and Ethiopians have taken the lead. Igual que en muchos países africanos, en Sudán del Sur muchos edificios públicos son financiados por China. Es el caso de la nueva sede de la universidad. Un amplio y moderno centro que choca con la decadencia y la pobreza que lo rodean. So this is the old University of Juba. This is the beginning of the fence. This is the fence of the University of Juba. It's all, all this university. This is the old campus. Nothing much has changed here except the administration block. The yeah, computer science college was built by Chinese. En Juba hay muy pocas carreteras asfaltadas y están todas en el centro que alberga las principales instituciones del país. It's called Freedom Hall and it's a new hall that was built uh, after the independence and it has been called Freedom Hall because it symbolizes the freedom of South Sudanese from all the challenges of Khartoum. And this hall is very famous. It's used for doing events in the country. A lot of events are done here in the hall, and big events such as national events, meetings, you know, breakfast for the president, for the Muslims. The signing of the peace agreement was done here. This is the tallest building now we have. It's called Equatorial Towers. Mm. Equatorial Towers, that was built recently, actually, last, like last, was just, was just opened uh, late last year. La compañía de seguros WAP de Sudán del Sur es la propietaria de la Torre Ecuatoria que costó unos 60 millones de dólares. Pero actualmente, el edificio está vacío. Los costos de alquiler son demasiado altos para las empresas locales y las ONG y esperan poder alquilarlo un día a alguna compañía petrolera. Cabañas, barracas de madera, casas con paredes hechas de tierra y techos de metal no son otra cosa que el resultado de la guerra en curso. Los Sudanese were united because they were fighting Arab Khartoum. And obviously Khartoum when when the independence came, the South Sudanese were on their own. So there was no sense of unity that was built within the communities of South Sudan. And obviously the South Sudanese found themselves to be very different, you know, they feel like they are close to their tribal sentiment than nationhood. So the lack of nationhood and tribal sentiment. Yeah. The UAP only.